And his opponent, the Blue Zerg, making his first time appearance on the Nidus. It is Minto. Yeah, it's so awesome that we got a lot of EU players to sign up. We were kind of taking a gamble. Like, well, the EU players don't really know about us because they're we're on when they're sleeping and shit. So, like, how are they going to know to sign up? So, I don't know. It was kind of a gamble running it this early, but we're really glad that we got a lot of support. And sure, we got a lot of return people from the NA, but I, I think it worked. Like, we got a lot of EU players. Um, So... As long as people are filling this one, we'll probably do this once a month, I think, is what we decided on, the last Saturday of the month, as long as um, we keep getting people to sign up for it. So if you're watching and maybe you want to play next time, it will be on the, the last Saturday of next month. Yep. So. We do this tournament. It's a plat diamond every week, but we do it at any times um, for, you know, three out of the four weeks of the month. But as you said, we wanted to be consistent and try and keep it as easy. We don't want to be bouncing around time and day wise for you guys. Um, so that's why it's going to be consistent. The last Saturday of the month will be the, the EU time slot. Yep, absolutely. Crazy Koala 157. Thank you very much for the follow. We appreciate it's it. It's a cool name. <laughs> yeah, and Pinecone13 in chat there is the man who owns Proto Quick Printing. So he's the man that is investing his own like business money uh, into StarCraft 2. I think that's worth the, the shout out. So thank you very yep. much, Pinecone. That's so badass that you are willing to work with us for the next six months to make sure that we keep doing this tournament. So while we're off to a little bit of a lull in this game, I just wanted to show some love where love is due. Uh, but we got some wings out, so it's on now, Giggle. I know, right? As they're making their way across the map now. This could do some pretty significant damage or at very least stop the CC. Um, and there is, oh my goodness, uh, the Reaper is not going to see them actually. Uh, so this could be kind of problematic as the Reaper is going to be across the map for this. Yeah, that was a good rally because he made him completely avoid that Reaper and he's going to think that they're just nothing out yet to defend this. It's pretty nice, man. If they get over there right now, they should be able to find some damage. Um, and then at best, they should be able to completely shut down this natural if they get over there really quick. I'm not quite sure if they'll make yep. it in time so he is taking some damage to his uh drones one of them does go down looks like this queen will eventually pop out uh he does uh minto does actually stop the cc so unfortunate there for freddy as he just starts up some marines now yep and now he has a little bit to do with this at home a couple lings and a queen should be enough to shoo away the reaper so he won't be able to push in through this wall uh but as we discussed just stopping that natural is a huge pickup from him uh considering it only costs what six lings so it's pretty yep. nice but now that these Marines are out, the fun and games are over for these Lings. Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to have to back up a little bit. Yeah, I think this is the proper response here is get to work. If the CC's not done building, then it's in your best interest to probably just get it because it will be, have to be canceled or it will die. Yeah. But if they manage to get the CC off, I don't think it's it's really a good idea to continue to attack it because I'll just like lift it eventually, you know? Yeah, and with the Ling reinforcements behind this, oh, I think he's going to... Yeah, oh, if he doesn't close his wall. Close the wall! Oh, no! my God, no! <laughs> And now you have lings in your base. That's not where you want to be this early into the game, but we've all been there, man. I've been there before. I remember. Uh, so so lings actually are going to be kind of helpful as these SCVs will act as a buffer for them. Uh, these lings eventually, I think, will get cleaned up, especially now that two more of them have been built into banes. Um, look at them go, man. Yeah, absolutely. So these lings are in a bit of a weird place now because they can't get out. They can't get in to do any damage or they'll just get wrecked. Oh, this They're like, let's all turn into banes. Like, yeah, oh my exactly. God, this one Oh, I don't know what to watch because there's just banelings everywhere right now. We got a single SCB trying to put in work on this one. This one's about to be morphed already. Oh, guys. Shit. There's too many Marines, don't. though. Yeah, as long as... You oh! Five it's SCBs five going them, down, yeah. though. Oh, man. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that was definitely pretty nice. Oh, this other one! Oh, if, one yeah, if, he, if they were doing the buddy system, that would have caused fucking havoc on that SCB. Oh, uh, those love... CVs, yeah, that's what man. I'm saying. If he had a buddy, even or a couple links, but that's all right. That's I would say that's a pretty successful early aggression uh, from Mr. Minto. Runaway, you noob, saying nice to know and really props for doing it. EU time, awesome. I asked earlier if people thought we should continue doing it or if people wanted us to go back to our NA time. So far, that's the only response I've heard. Um, so I'm glad to hear that at least one person thinks it. Hey. Yeah, for sure, man. By the way, Pindakong, you missed it. I don't know if you were signed up for the bracket, but sorry, man. Uh, eventually we gotta lock it. Otherwise, I feel like we'd be trying to collect players all day. But hopefully, you know, uh, we'll get you in there for uh, next time we do the EU time slot. How do you feel about the triangle expansion instead of the straight line from Zerg player, uh, Mr. Minto? I mean, sorry. Oh, I, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't mind it. Well, it's yeah, harder, I'm not it's trying like to knock him. I'm just creep there, but yeah. um, it may not be taken down as easily. Yeah, I'm just asking for my own personal reasons. I'm trying to figure out... This one in Abyssal Reef, I'm trying to figure out whether or not you expand it in a straight line or a triangle. Um, 
I mean, that's neither here nor there. Just trying to bide some time while we're figuring out this game. I don't know that he's going to be able to push into this, though, man. That's a lot of bio. We got Hellions being made by the two, and we have uh, mine out as well. So, yeah, I think Freddy just needs to get that natural up in mining. He's starting to fall pretty significantly behind uh, in workers, unless he's planning on just going straight all in from here. So, we'll have to see. But, man, this is a pretty big push-up. A couple roaches are going to be out by the time this hits, but that is a lot of Hellions, man. So, yeah, as that is a significant amount of yeah. firepower right there, um, making its way across the map. Uh, there is a lot of Roach Ravager here, though, man. So I think he's going to be uh, shoot away, especially with this nice little wall that he's got here. Yeah, and if uh, Minto can just delay a couple, well, I wouldn't say a couple seconds, but a little while, he'll be able to pick up that plus one, too, which will help out a lot. Uh, and it's not too far away, so I'd imagine he's just trying to stall right now. Oops, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. No, they they couldn't see it anyway because I didn't make us rep, so we're good. Guys, I said strange, sad <laughs> face. Strange. Uh, it's crazy. How strange. It's, no. So these aliens are just kind of poking around the front. Uh, I wonder, is there any sort of... Yep, there is an armory down, so these could be turned into Hellbats here in just a second. That would definitely be the more effective form to fight these roaches. This yeah. one, though, came to the wrong... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so Phoenix Tears is asking... Just go... Hold on, sorry guys, I'm gonna mess up observing. We don't have a dedicated observer. So I had to send a whisper in the middle of the cast. How unprofessional, I, no, I'm just kidding. Oh um, my God, Yeah, guys. seriously, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm following. I'm done with this fucking amateur hour. Uh, but it does look like some, those are eventually turned into Hellbats and a good amount of Marines are making some serious pressure on this third base here. Some Cyclones even coming in, man. No medevacs or anything like that though. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to cast Phoenix, too, because he had the balls to play random in our tournament. Uh, but round one just waited forever, and his opponent wasn't quite done yet. So we'll check back in and find out who that was here in just a second. But now there's Cyclones fighting Roaches, and that's kind of never where you want to be in the Zerg player. Uh, but as long as he can focus fire with Defender's Advantage, he might... Oh, no. As I say that, they're kind of falling fast. Mm, so, yeah, this is kind of a crazy trade here. I gotta say it's favoring... Um, probably... Did, I don't think Zerg lost any economy to get here, right? Like, this has all been just, like, trading units. Was there a lot of drones that just went down? No, not that I saw, man. I'll have okay, to check. Cool. Then, yeah. I gotta say, I think that favors Minto, man, because he's just, he has a nice answer to this marine hellback composition, especially with no medevacs in just pure roach. Yep, Uh, but there is a lot of roaches, and now he has Bane speed, too, so it's going to be, like, roach, ravager, Bane. That's kind of, I don't know, that should be able to do a little bit of work versus this. We'll have to see um, how many... Cyclones come out to deal with these roaches. I don't know, dude. They're not being made yeah. anymore, so I, I don't really know what he's gonna have to contest this just yet. By the time it hits, I, I definitely think the, the the large number of roach ravager here um, is gonna be able to push Terran. These cyclones, though, I mean, they're pretty damn good, man. Yeah. You get a SCV buffer in front of them, they start to do work. Yeah, and the mines as well too, so that should help out. Uh, Gamer Richie joining us in chat. What's up? Uh, that's one of our GM players playing in today's show match. So thank you very much for that. If you guys want to follow a monster Terran, I've been throwing his URL up all day. Uh, but back to this fight. That mine went off already, and I don't really think there's enough going to be able to. Oh, there was. There's a little bit nice of movement. Focus, yeah. There's a little bit of movement really there from him, and he lost a lot of units that he might have been able to hold. Uh, but now there's nothing really to deal with this, and he's forced to pull the boys too. Oh man, these roaches starting to get to work on those SCVs, but this is kind of what I was talking about, the SCV buffer just constantly running at those roaches while the Cyclones are being microed. I think actually all of these roaches will go down. The attack probably will be stopped here, but there isn't. Oh man, these links at the Watchtower, those really could have helped in the wraparound around those Cyclones. Yeah, so could these uh, line of Cyclones that were being rallied up to the top of the ramp too. So it was a oh, bit shit. of a missed micro. Mind. Oh shit. Oh no! That was a nice hit. There, there. Yep. It has 19 kills. I'm sure not all of that was right there, uh, but that was a pretty monster pickup. Between that and the Hellbats, you should be able to stabilize uh, from that. Yep. Those Lings did get something for their troubles, though, as they came in and cleaned out a couple of Hellbats and a Cyclone, I believe. But yeah, Widowmind shot definitely doing some serious work there, as we are seeing just straight Hellbat Cyclone production coming out. Yeah, I don't know if he'll be able to hold the, this second volley, though, because it's going to have uh, Banes with Bane speed. So we'll have to see how that comes in. Um, but I, I think it was very well held up to this point. And now we have an Ultralist ca cavern down as well. So, My God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure should I say Terran move commanded into the army and ate several vials. That's what I was trying to communicate, but I don't know how to speak, apparently. I lost all my words. I was like, oh, he move commanded. And, like, I don't know. That was my bad. 
Uh, but yeah, so the Banes are morphing as we discussed. As long as they can dodge this mine, they might be able to find some damage. I don't know though. Bane speed definitely helpful here as we're gonna do a significant amount of damage. Ooh, bad, yeah. bad what a mine shot. Definitely needs to to kind of split his lings a little bit there, and these roaches will get cleaned up by the cyclones. The boys get pulled again, man. Those SCVs are just work getting work today. They have to mine and fight all day. Yep. Um, we'll have to see how this third volley goes. I'm trying to wait and see what happens with the Ultralisk Cavern. Okay, so there goes Kindness Plating as we say that right now. So he is trying to go uh, late game three based Ultra. Um, but and he, to my knowledge, it's gone completely unscouted, right? Yep, it has. And it's definitely going to hit really hard. Um, yeah. And he is almost saturated up on that third base uh, in his middle line. He has 11 out of 16. Um, but he just really doesn't have... You know, he can probably do a round or two. I think some of the, the money that he has is from floating, but he can probably do a round or two of ultras. Um, but he's not going to really be able to sustain it. The one thing he does have going for him is that Freddy doesn't really have a third of any sort. Um, yeah. So he is still a, a base up, even if he's not going to be able to produce, you know, re replenish a 200 supply army off four base or five base. Yeah, and I don't really know how um, Cyclone is going to deal with seven ultras with kindness plating because the first round of five just popped. And the other two are right behind this. By the time they come out, Kindness Plating will be done. So I'd imagine this is about to be the end fight either way. Um, but I don't know, man. Do you think the Cyclones can hold seven altars? Uh, we're about to find out. Okay. It depends really on the links around. I honestly don't think that they can without taking significant damage. But man, every time you doubt the Cyclones' damage, it just shreds <laughs> something. And then yeah, you're like, okay, true. it is not to be underestimated. Like, Oh, he's going to find out about the altars right now, though. Oh. Well, this isn't really good. These lings are just going to be enough damage here to, to uh, allow the ultras to get up on the cyclones. Yep. He needs like a buffer, like something in front of it. It's like this is just going to be, yeah, this is bad news first. Oh, yeah, man. So when those mains get in and find all the damage, they were able to clean up a lot of it. And with that, uh, Freddy will call it. Minto will take game number one of this series. Yep. Very good, man. Definitely making his way to quick ultras. Yep. And just ripping through. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Moist Nugget is about to play Blunt Reality 420. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Hey <laughs> Um, All right, so map number two will be Newkirk Precinct. What a crazy game number one, though. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I didn't think it was going to be three base ultras. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think that's how that game was going to end up. Yeah, that was a pretty risky move to go for it, but um, it Worked definitely out. looked genius when those lings got got the surround on the cyclones, and it was pretty much just the ultra straight chewing through it. Yeah, absolutely. So Minto was just able to find lots of damage really early on and just hold it that whole time, starting with the lings denying the natural, and then just pretty much the entire game after that. So, yep. By the way, thanks again to everybody who is tuning in, all the followers for today, man. You guys are awesome supporting the EU time slot. Yeah, and again, if you like the EU time slot, you want to see it once a month, let us know. If you don't like it and you want to see us back to just NA all the time, every time, let us know. Uh, we're kind of willing to do whatever everyone wants. But if you guys want this once a, once a month, we have no problem doing that. I'd like a mm -hmm. Saturday night out, out on the town, dude. I'm trying to get turned. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, here we go. Let me just update the scoreboard and all that jazz. All right, our blue Zerg player in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, um, clanless, it is Minto. Currently up one game in this best of three. And his opponent, a returner to the Nidus, I think the last one was his first week, the Red Terran. In the bottom left of Newkirk, it is Freddy. Oh, man. Awesome. How do you feel about this map in general and also about it staying into the pool? Um, It's okay in general. Yeah. I kind of don't like it. I mean, it's not like I don't like it, but one of the things is, I mean, it's great, obviously, for drops on yeah. the side of that giant side of the base, but everybody kind of knows that you're coming from that direction. So um, it's kind of hard to fly all the way over to the third if they take like a th that, that far third or whatever. But how do I feel that it stayed in the pool? This is going to be for every map that ever stays in the pool. I think, and I'm shots fired at Blizzard here, but I think it's lazy. <laughs> like, yeah, just like, create create six new maps. Like, I don't, I mean, Well, just my do thing it. is like, they don't even have to create them. Like, the map creators already make them. They just have to pick them. Like, you know they're out there. To prove that, we play on non-standard maps in the team like, but i i don't know i'm, I'm with you there uh, but we got double gas from freddy we'll have to see what he goes there uh how can i sign up for this tournament well if you look out on our profile that you're watching right now if you look underneath i'm not being sarcastic by the way this is just the answer there's a big button 
that says sign up. If you click on that each week, it will direct you to our sign up page, and then that that's how you sign up. There it is. That, yeah, it's kind right. of anticlimactic. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like, I was off to a great start, but all you got to do is... Uh, oh, shit. We're having chat issues again. Guys, oh my God, no. listen. If, if you're having an issue, I'm going to type it. Slash join Nidus. Not the Nidus. If you get into that chat channel, there'll be a man named Cruel or La Cucaracha if you want to earn brownie points. And he'll help you find your uh, tournament partner. That's why well, we have an admin way. tonight. Yeah, Mr. Cruel <laughs> in the chat channel I just typed into the broadcast will help you find your opponent. Man, I gotta make the rules a little bit different, I guess. What? People don't read that challenge page. Like, it's all good though. Sometimes, man. And then sometimes we've had some weird ghost issues too. You know, like yeah. that one night where honestly chat just like split personality. Itself, yeah, that's and weird. It's like, our, what? Our chat went the... schizophrenic and... I know, man. It's like, I'm two. There's two of me now. All right. Um, two, 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 two. Is this a second factory? No, this is a 1 1 1 coming out. Some Hellions um, and some Marines being built. So we'll have to see. Um, no extra CC or anything like that being built by Freddy. Oh, shit. I forgot to start the fucking bets each time now. No, that's why I wanted an admin in chat to run it. If you want to volunteer for that, by any means, I have it all set up. What? Uh, we can bet on series now. Like, we have that technology. Cool, man. I'm yeah. down. Uh, I just don't really want to learn it in the middle no, of a I, cast. I, yeah, no, I'm I got it. Lie. Just remind me. I'll do it for the next series. We're going to get it going tonight. It's already ready Sweet. to roll. All I got to do is type in the name players while you're vetoing the maps and then hit enter. Like, we're, we're ready to roll. Forget the count. Yeah. Right. That's the perfect time to do it. Yeah. All right. That All was right. my bad, guys. You guys asked for betting. We're bringing you betting. Some lings, by the way. What's up, Niwo? Uh, some lings making their way across the map now. Yep, I'm not sure how much damage they're going to find considering they're going to hit a wall of a lot of Hellions and Cyclones. Freddy's not messing around anymore. He's just one-basing this, and he's trying to tie this series up. And I don't blame him, man. And uh, considering his opponent has three bases, and it, I, I think he might be off to a pretty good start here. Yeah. So. Bold prediction, Cotton. Bold prediction. Yet he's saying not Nidus either. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're trying to help people out with the chat channels. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! The Banes found a little bit of damage, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. If he can kite. Yeah, he needs to kite. Oh, that medevac is just following around all of his units completely loaded up. Yeah, I need to drop your units. Yeah. Um, And he is actually going to... Okay, she slows the advance of Zerg, at least. Yeah, so... Now he's going to wait for these uh, Hellions, but man, if he would have just dropped those Marines, he might have been able to deal with that a little bit better, but it's, you know, it's easy for us to say, just casting. Uh, but the Banley Nest is already down, and there is a lot of links, so Freddy needs to make sure he holds what's about to happen. Yeah, oh. I don't know that this Baneling, I mean, they may get up here and they may actually crush this, but uh, yeah, I uh. think the best idea here is to probably back up. A little bit of indecision there, yep, yeah. that's why... You don't want to do that, but yeah. he needs to repair it or else he's going to be in some serious trouble. Yeah, well, the Freedom Zone is down now, too, so if he can just put the Freedom Zone on the ramp, he should be able to help out a little bit with that. Um, But uh, he didn't... Okay, he did repair. I couldn't see the SCV. It was hiding uh, behind the factory, so he's going to catch a repair on that as well. At least he'll have his wall. As I say that, though, the Banelings. The Banelings giggle. Yeah, so the Banelings are coming in here now, and some units being picked up for Hellions, which could be really helpful in defending this if something comes out. Um, with the Liberators their way not down. Across them, yeah. I, I mean, it'd be good to get that set, but yeah. Uh, it looks like Minto does see this medevac coming across, so he does have to bring some of these lings back. Um, it looks like Minto likes to get up on three base and then just kind of, you know, build use those three bases to build lings rather than drones. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's good for lever production. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll have to see if these lings are going to be able to contest all these hellions, but that's kind of a lot, dude. If he can get a lot of kites and pickups off, I uh, okay, so the queen's going to be able to shoot away the medevac. But you can tell just making Minto a pullback was a pretty good move here, and considering he was gearing up for a Bane bust, you know? Yep, absolutely, man. So, so Freddy's trying to move out, find some damage, combine his units so that he can do an attack, as he really doesn't have any sort of CC or anything like this, so this is pretty much all in from him. Yeah, his economy is kind of lacking. I mean, he's only down six drones, but as you said, that, that second CC that's missing means no mules or anything of that sort, or nothing to really fall back on, so... He kind of needs to get over here and find all this damage right now, and I think he might be able to, but it's it's kind of hard to call uh, because of how much production Minto has behind this. He can do a fat round, you know. Yep, Freddy's got a really interesting army. Yeah. Like, he's got a little bit of everything. <laughs> and if he, keep, if he keeps this up, especially with Hellbats now against these lings, man. Oh, oh man. No. 
huge chunk of lings going down there. The only thing that he needs to pay attention for now is making sure that he splits for these Bane lings. He doesn't want to take bad Bane ling shots. Yeah, and Cloaking just finished up for that Banshee too. It's only one, granted, so it's not like going to win the game or anything, but it will be nice to have that Cloaked Banshee just kind of picking away at things. Oh, yeah, so he does want that as he goes for this oh, war, but there's two. Oh, no! <laughs> I think he's still got it. The Medivac goes down, though, which is... Huge. Yeah, but he does have a good amount of units left over. He should be able to do a lot of economic damage here, though. Going for that spore was a little bit of a weird decision. I think he just wants to protect his liberator. Uh, but now he should be able to start frying drones with all these hellbats. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, but there's a fat round of links coming in behind this. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, those links fighting in that that choke, though, definitely not the way you want to fight hellbats. That's probably the worst position you can. But man, this is made itself out to be a really scrappy game. Here. Yeah, this has been crazy, man. It's been a pretty cool series. I, I almost want Freddy to take it at this point, uh, just so we get our game number three, man. And, and it's starting to look like that's uh, what's about to happen. It's not over yet by any means, but we'll have to see how this goes. Yeah, it definitely, uh, Minto is in a tough spot. These Bane links could come in, though, and absolutely just crush stuff. It doesn't look like... Uh... Okay, Freddy does. He has built a ton more aliens that are making their way in now. Yeah, absolutely. So now it is just a straight-up drone barbecue. 20 of them going down so far. Uh, Hellbats are in the main mineral line. And like that, Minto will call it, and Freddy will tie up this series. Man, I'm excited for this game number three. But this is a perfect segue. Tell, will you tell him to hold on for one second? Yep. Boom. I'm going to throw it up right now. Who will win, Minto or Freddy? You guys have the ability to vote. Let us know. Yeah, well, bet with your doubloons. Oh, God. There we go, guys. It should have kicked it out to chat already. If not... Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. Betting is up for this series. Uh, I think you just award doubloons or whatever, but you guys can figure that out while we're in the middle of this game. I don't want to uh, make these guys wait any longer. What was the map? Uh, Proxima. that is a good question. I had one job. You had one, you had one job? Had, no, <laughs> Proxima. It's, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Proxima Station. Yeah, no, I'm excited that the betting was that easy. I thought it was going to be some huge nightmare, but it was, like, so straightforward, man. We, we can do that in the future. As long as one of us remembers to just update it, we're set. So, gotcha. Yeah, pretty Yeah, excited. I'm really down to do it. I don't mind. I just was like, uh, in the middle of a game, tabbing out, learn Revlo real quick. Yep. Uh, uh Minto... I don't... Did he say be right back or something, or...? Uh, I don't think he said anything, but I did say hold on one second, so maybe he took a break himself. Okay. Yeah, give us just one second. I think maybe one of our players... Um, one of our players took a break real quick. Uh, so I don't have anything to play. Is it Blockbuster time again, or no? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my damn VidBot to work. It keeps timing out, and that's what I use as my dashboard. Oh, yeah. You had one job, VidBot. Oh, looks like we're good to go here. Nice. Okay. I'm excited for this game number three, man. This has been a scrappy-ass series so far in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, this has been really good. I, I got to say, I, I think uh, Freddy's army and army composition last game was what helped him win that game, man. He just had a good, versatile, he had a Banshee, he had a Liberator, Hellbats, Marines, a Medivac. Like, he just had more, and he kind of caught... Uh, Minto in a spot where Minto was, you know, backing off his initial attack and then looking to drone on three base after that. Yeah. Uh, I, there were some questions about a random race player. Yeah, we allowed that. You can play random in this game. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. That's a thing, guys. I don't know. I didn't read the rest of it. It was like seven pages long. But yeah, we allow random in this tournament. What's up, Riser? How's it going, man? Riser hype. What's up? I love Riser, man. Mm -hmm. Volunteered to face off against Pilly Pilly. <laughs> what a beast. Show match beast. Show match beast. All right. So let's get off to game number three. I'm excited to see how this pans out. Our blue Zerg player in the bottom left hand corner of the map. It is Minto. And his opponent, the Red Terran, finding a way to tie up the series in that last game. It from Oz. Well, from Clan Ozzy, it is Freddy. Yeah, that's what he needed to do, too. That one base push was nasty, man. That was like some Jackson-style stuff. That was pretty intense, so. That was a pretty strong attack, dude. Yeah. It's like early pool coming out from Minto here. Yep, absolutely. We'll have to see how this kicks off. I just wanted to make sure the scoreboard was all updated and everything, so. We should be good here. <clears throat> oh, man. You think he's just going to go for some crazy-ass flood or something just to get into the round three? 
I don't know. Oh, double yeah. gas. What? He's been. Oh. Uh, what's up? He was building double gas, but it was just the extractor trick. That was my oh. bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think. I, I mean, he's been a pretty aggressive player. Like I said, he's been getting up on three bases, but really doing a lot of strong Ling Ravager attacks and stuff like that. Um, so I honestly think, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll probably see a, a Ling flood. And if we do see a second base go down, I'm guessing it's most likely going to be for Larva. Yeah. Um, we'll have to see, man. I thought he was going to go with some double gas stuff, but nope. We didn't get that lucky. I thought he had some crazy ass build pl uh, planned out or something, but oh man, behind this it looks like Freddy's gearing up for a really, really early natural. Oh, okay, no. It's like don't do it. Uh, Terran also didn't move command into Biles. Shots fired from Sure Should Die. Yeah, that helps. Uh, but yeah, considering we're on like a one base flood with a Baneling Nest into two bases, this is gonna be another pretty crazy ass game, dude. Yep. Freddy's really going to have to kind of recognize what he's going up against or else this Baneling bust could be the game winner, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. We'll have to check it out. Um, there's a reactor, so I guess if he could scout this, he might be able to help out with this. But there's just going to be a straight flood, I'd imagine. Oh, he is going to take that base for Larva, too. What is this build? I'm so confused crazy crazy business going on here man so this doesn't look like it's all in like i said though I, it's been something that i've noted from minto it looks like he does like to take that base but mostly just for um the extra larva this uh overlord getting kind of caught out here if this goes down this could put a damper on uh, minto's attack yeah absolutely so we'll have to see oh yeah Ooh. that sucks man that's a bit of a good or it's a really good pickup for mr freddy um we'll have to see how he does this we got a factory coming down but i don't know that it's going to be out in time to deal with this the bane pop is probably going to hit before that uh but there's not too many lings behind this i think he kind of neutered himself uh by getting that natural so late if he intended on using it for flood so yep so he's going to come in here with a couple of bane lings a couple of lings i have to oh. see oh, oh man that, that was so terrific, close uh, yeah to get underneath that uh no not i don't believe the korean nightmare no everyone keeps asking like i'm pretty glad that people think You're we could just up, get him man. on <laughs> i know right <laughs> like i should have put in the name not not him no sorry guys uh mm -hmm. but yeah no it should be off to a real it should be a really good show match either way i guess he has a lot of good builds that work specifically for Terran, and it's a tbc so you know like we should we might be able to see some crazy stuff go down but that's neither here nor there in this match we're up to some pretty crazy stuff as this one 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 is about to wrap up for mr freddy so uh they're asking is this a rebroadcast no this is live man welcome indeed welcome this to the night is number 13 dude pow pow lucky number 13 oh yeah i'm pretty excited we hit our 400 followers on 13 so i guess it was lucky after all dude that is pretty sweet, dude. Thank you guys for making that happen. 400 is huge. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, Oh, shit. The wall. I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold it. He needs some mines or something. Anything really to deal with this. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh, not going to be enough. Uh, now through. the Lynx just went straight into the barbecue, dude. Hard times. I think this Hellion will go down. Oh, it doesn't even get that. But yeah, very nice by Freddy to, you know, make sure all the holes are plugged. He's able to defend. Yeah, absolutely. A couple mines here would have been awesome, but that, those Hellions were a great choice as well. Um, and on top of that, um, Freddy has a huge economy lead. He has literally double the workers of our Zerg players. So Minto is definitely going to have to figure out how to either get a lot of damage done or start macroing his way out of this. But we have Banshees with Cloak coming up too, so... Man, we said it was going to be a crazy-ass game, and I think we've delivered. This has been a nuts series, man. Yeah, I got to say, Minto really just trying to make it happen, just continuously ramming Banelings into the Wall of Terran and hoping something happens. And in Game 1, it definitely worked out. In Game 2, I think Freddy just barely squeaked it out. You know, he defended, defended, yeah. he came out with the composition. We'll have to see if he's able to do it, because this is shaping up almost exactly like it. But yep. every time in this in these games, Freddy seems a little bit more prepared for it. Yeah, Jimmy Schmo saying, where do, where do I sign up for this? There's a huge button that says sign up underneath our profile. If you just click on that each week, we, do, we direct the sign-ups. But Either way, the Banes are about to pop. I'm trying to keep up with everything. Uh, yeah, holy shit, again yeah. though. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to speak ill of a player, but uh, uh, that second time now that he's just ran Banelings into their imminent death. And granted, Factory's he almost got the down. factory. Yeah, but at what cost? Dude? So with that, GG is called, and Ozzy will advance into our next series. So what is this going to be? Round number three, eh? Yeah, this is going to be round number three.